It's Friday the 21st of July 2023 and today is the day that Harrods have opened their Christmas department and if you're a regular watcher of this channel you know how much we love Christmas but they've gone five months early. So what do you think about it? Anyway here's the video here's what they've got on offer this year and I've spoken to the team here at Harrods and I can tell you this is their Christmas department they won't be expanding it any further so have a look at it now what do you think and I would love to know in the comments down below what would you buy so Christmas world is here 2023 and as you can see the garlands are up now what happens is as you get closer to Christmas, things also start happening even more in that area that we've just been in. You have big Christmas bears and all the rest of it ready to greet you in. So I dare say we'll change a little bit around here before Christmas. But certainly as far as this Christmas department is concerned, this is the extent of it for 2023. And here we go. We've got trees up, we've got decorations, and we're gonna bring them all to you because not only have we filmed the trees, but we've also filmed the individual decorations and also the different sections within it. As you can see one here, you've got one called Scout About, you've got London Calling, and we'll show you all of those during the whole of the video. Now, the great thing is, because we're bringing this to you early, and I know so many of you are not based in the UK, but a number of you like to order from Harrods as well, the great thing is if you go to harrods.com, you may well find them on there. So get onto the website if you want some of this stuff. If not, you can always message them direct and find out how quickly you can get hold of these Christmas decorations. I know, five months early, and you're thinking this far ahead? How organized are you? So we're gonna kick off with this, which is the Craft Couture Collection. And this section is, well, a complete mix of bits. So you've got things from hanging animals and also the Nutcracker soldiers to these things, which look like they've got sort of pearls stuck on the side, but they look really, really effective. Now, one thing I know from the comments of old, you love to know how much things are. So I'm just gonna give you the broad price. Most of the individual items that you can see as we're going around the whole of the Harrods collection range anywhere, bauble-wise, from about 20 to 30 pounds. I did find one or two which were a bit cheaper, and I found a lot more, they're a lot more expensive, but don't worry, we'll be bringing those to you as well, because you've got to look at them and go, wow. So Harrods really have gone for it early this year. Last year, the decorations here at the Christmas department came out just after the bank holiday at the end of August. So they really have gone early this year. And I'll tell you something else I noticed is all of the nutcrackers have got a lot more hairy. Yeah, most of them have got beards. They didn't have that before. Obviously during the course of the last year, the nutcracker soldiers have decided not to shave. And if anyone's missing an old sewing machine, I think I might have found it. Harrods have borrowed it. Or oh, sorry, I think these days we call it pre-loved, don't we? As opposed to secondhand. Anyway, it's here at Harrods if you need it in the middle of their display for Christmas. The great thing about having shops like Selfridges, Harrods, Fortnum and Mason in central London is they're great shops that you can go to and go and have a good look around without actually buying anything, but just have a look at some of the, well, some of the normal, but also some of the wacky decorations that you can get. And actually, if money was no object, the question is, would you really go for it? Yeah, now that's a question, isn't it? Now, some of the decorations are I must admit, they are quite tasteful, but some of them are really, really outlandish. And the question is, if you had all the money in the world, which ones would you go for? Would your taste be influenced by the money that you had? That'd be an interesting question. Let us know in the comments down below. It's a bit like lottery winners, isn't it? Who win loads and loads of money and say, this will never change me, as they go and buy their third yacht. Now these are the Mackenzie Childs 
decorations for 2023. And if you remember back to our video of last year, they had a massive section. And they also, I don't know if you remember, they put a massive teapot on top of the Christmas tree as well. But they haven't done that this year. And actually the decorations seem a lot more um, in tune with Christmas. Yeah, I think you could probably say that. Anyway, just have a look at this manger. Yes, that's 359 pounds. And I love the way Harrods does subtlety with the pricing. If it's really expensive, they put those really small gold figures out in front of it so you can hardly see them. I think for me, if I was choosing from this collection, without doubt, this snow globe, which isn't a snow globe, but it's got a clock at the bottom, £899 would be my choice. No doubt about it whatsoever. So we go from Mackenzie Childs to the Scout About decoration section. And this is quite funny actually, because every year they always have sort of a collection which have got animals, etc., in it. Well, this is it for this year, but they've also decided to add a tent if you wanted to hang a tent or a boat from your Christmas tree. It's always interesting to see the different themes each year that the different stores have. And if you fancy having a look back to Harrods last year and what they had, I'll put a link to that video up in the top right hand corner so you can sort of compare what last year was like and this year was like. So it'd be interesting also if any other stores go with a camping theme and if that's just a general theme. Here are the advent treat boxes if you're looking for those pre-Christmas and didn't find any advent calendars, but certainly found these. And now, how about these for a collection of snow globes, ranging from 59 pounds at the far end there, right up, and now we go to the felt animals. Nothing says Christmas like a Christmas owl or a Christmas duck. Yes. Or how about a Christmas fish? <laughs> Take your choice, you can hang them from your tree. I know people do like to have different types of collections and that is a glittery fox. Obviously been rolling in something. I know we've got many dog owners that watch this channel from the video that we did with we took Dougal up to London. So here we go. Here for you are um, some dog themed decorations. So here among these baubles, you've got these glass baubles just below, and in each of them has got a different type of animal. There you go, you've got a squirrel sitting in that one, you've got an owl by the looks of it sitting in the one behind, and also it looks like you've got a robin or a type of bird sitting on a twig in that one as well. Right, if you love your gingerbread house type decorations, how about these? The big house in the middle will cost you £179, and the little gingerbread trees, £75 each. I think if I ordered those online, I'd keep the bubble wrap on once I'd actually put them on display just to keep them safe. We're back with the Scout About collection. Whilst the Harrods Christmas department has decided to go early this year, we will come back to Harrods just before Christmas. Last year we came back and we filmed the food department when they had all the Christmas food in, which is just absolutely beautiful. But also we filmed the outside windows at Harrods as well, which were completely different and last year sponsored by Christian Dior. So it'll be interesting to see who does it again this year. So we will be back again before Christmas. Now, if there are any particular departments you'd like us to cover specifically for Christmas when we come back do let me know um, but don't say the jewelry because they are very very hot and not letting you film in there so but any other places let us know Now we have London Calling, thanks to The Clash, and all of the London-styled decorations this year. All in this beautiful section here. Although some of them, like the 
bulldog I'm not quite sure about. But anyway, anything Christmassy, London related, this is where you want to come and get it. If you're really enjoying this section of the Harrods decorations or the London decorations here, look, including that lovely bus as well, uh, then you want to go to our website, londonvisited.co.uk, and sign up for our monthly newsletter, which is completely free. Not only do we show you an exclusive video and give away a photo each month, but we'll also keep you informed as Christmas approaches of all the different lights being switched on and all the events that are happening in London as well. So it's completely free, and that's londonvisited.co.uk. UK. Loving the London themed plush decorations here, or the uh, soft velvety cushioned ones, and just look at the detail on there. It's interesting, we should have counted the number of different coronation related Christmas decorations. And by the way, that golden carriage reminds me, we've got a video coming out in the next couple of weeks on this channel, which shows you all the different carriages used in the coronation. Also what I love is, not to leave the coronation out from 2023, you've got some coronation related decorations as well. And in just a second, we're gonna show you a coronation cushion, which is also in the Christmas department here at Harrods as well. Before that, here we go, Coca-Cola. Yes, it's all the Coca-Cola inspired Christmas decorations. They are a Diet Coke with a Christmas hat on it. And then it goes into the food. So you've got some uh, fries there and a hot dog. What I really love to know is if you've got a Christmas tree with a food theme on it, and also would you put a full English breakfast and a tin of sardines on your Christmas tree? Let us know. And I love this one, the dog one. They are the dog bone on the uh, dog bowl. Now, I don't know if the Father Christmas there has lost his jacket because he's just drunk the vodka that's sitting next to him on the shelf, or alternatively, he's just very relaxed because he's having Coca-Cola. Also, because this is day one of the Christmas shop, you've got the chance to get any of the letters that you want to hang on your tree, because quite often the E's and the A's are gone very, very quickly. And there you go, here's all the coronation stuff. They go keeping the coronation theme going with a Christmas stocking over a taxi. Also, the other great thing is not only have you got some London bits here in Christmas World, when we go to the gift department a little bit later in this video, there's some more London related, Harrods related decorations. So if you're coming over to London before Christmas and want to take something back to remember your trip to Harrods, you can do. And this is a selection of the Nutcracker soldiers that you can get, but can you see what I mean? They're a lot more hairy this year. And here you've got the tree, which is all decorated in the Scout About theme, which we've looked at already. So we've seen these decorations on the shelves, but this is how it can look if they're hanging off your tree, including the welly boots there. These decorations are all under the Guilty Pleasures theme. That's both on this table and also hanging from the wall that we're gonna look at next. And actually, when you look at them, they're quite opulent in appearance. As a reminder, most of the hanging decorations that you can see here are ranged between 20 and 30 pounds, although we have shown some others in some of the other sections, which are a bit cheaper, but that just gives you an idea of how much these things are. I don't know if it's me, but these sorts of baubles have the sort of the touch of the Middle East in them. Yeah, maybe it's just me. I can imagine baubles like this and also some of the other ones that are here that we're just about to show you under the crackers. These, I can imagine these being extremely popular and flying off the shelf. So if you are interested, don't forget to go to harrods.com because you'll find things on there if you want to get things ordered ASAP for delivery well before Christmas. And there you go, that's the only Fabergé egg that I've seen in their collection this year. It'll be interesting to see what the other department stores do when they release their Christmas things. And don't worry, we will be at those as soon as they release their Christmas decorations as well, because we know how much you guys love the Christmas decorations especially as it gets a bit closer to Christmas. I know it's only July, but as it's out already, we've got to bring them to you. I can imagine people in the chat already going, God, it's far too early. 
You know they're fancy baubles when they come with their own hanging unit. And don't worry, we've got some really fancy ones to show you in just a second. Right, really hope you're loving the video. If you are, do us a favor, give us a thumbs up to help spread this video out across YouTube more so we can help others to love London as well. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, wow, have we got some more amazing videos to come between now and the end of the year. And that's not even thinking about things that are gonna happen during Christmas. So subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that notifications button. Now, one of the things I've noticed that Harrods doesn't normally do is open up its Christmas crackers to see what's inside. Unlike Fortnum and Mason, where you can see the incredible things that they put in there for their expensive crackers. Not seen that at Harrods. Right, if you love your London stuff, there's some great things here, but we're gonna show you these in, again in a second in the gift shop. Now, if you've watched our videos from previous years, you'll know I love a snow globe. And this is fantastic. This little Ted that's sitting in there, 15 pounds for a little snow globe. By the way, the teddy this year is called Ethan, and here he is. It's the Christmas bear for 2023. And this bear will set you back 40 pounds, and it's already on sale, because I've checked on the website. So this is the 2023 bear, Ethan. Now I was saying earlier about exclusive baubles. How about these? This one is 160, that one's 180 pounds. Don't forget, that's per bauble. Yeah, no wonder why they're locked away in a glass case. I don't know about you guys, but um, whenever we get the ball balls out, a few often smash before we get them any near the tree. Can you imagine that happening with those? Wow. Okay, we're in our next themed area for Christmas decorations, and this is the disco theme. Welcome to Disco Days. If you're looking for decorations that are gonna really stand out and also make a statement, and that statement being, look how leery the decorations are on my tree, this is definitely the section you wanna come down to. Just look at these baubles, absolutely incredible. <laughs> And if leopard print's your thing this year, you've got two different shades. You've got this bright orange, and you've got this pink as well. And I don't know if the price gives the game away, but I've just seen some decorations here only for 10 pounds. Quite a few here are certainly under the 20 pound mark, but some of them are a tenner. So is that telling you something about the decorations or they're just trying to shift them as quick as possible to tone it down? I don't know. I love it, you've got the exclusive decorations up high and then you go down low just underneath those exclusive ones and you've got microphones, boots and all sorts of stuff. Oh, and I even found a mince pie and how about this? If you fancy pepper for Christmas, you can even have your own pepper cellar hanging off your Christmas tree. I did actually look twice because I wondered if it's a coffee pot, but it's not. New baby in the family? They've got you covered. Baby boy's first Christmas and a baby girl's first Christmas as well. They will probably go quite quickly. It's funny because you've got a yoga mat decoration there and this is all sort of disco related, but there's no disco balls. Now that's missing. What I love is you've got so many different themes and for me, nothing like Christmas screams out a lobster. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why either, but there you go. You got a glittery lobster if you want it, plus these hanging decorations. Right, let's go to the more traditional stuff. So here we go, you've got a selection of wreaths at the top here. That looked quite a nice one actually, the one with the sort of the white frosting on it and all different types of stockings. Let's hope no one gets anything big with these stockings. So here we move from the Christmas world area into the gift shop, which is literally next door down here in the basement at Harrods. And in here, you've got all sorts of miscellaneous things. You've got various gifts, but you've also got some of the things, some more of the Ethan themed decorations like that printed bauble. There you go. And lots and lots of Ethan's as well. And as you can see, 
all done up in here as well with the garlands. Right, some more decorations, more Harrods inspired. Now this was an extremely popular one last year which sold out really, really quickly. Sort of a bauble with a door. So you're actually looking through the front door of Harrods. And um, that bell one looks quite nice with the shopping in there. But that's got to be the winner. That's the bauble there with Ethan inside it. Now in this part here, you've got a couple of baubles which are Harrods and London related. So you've got a Harrods bauble there at night and also here you've got the star hanging over the city of London. And then as you turn it round, you've got different views across London, including the Shah, the London Eye, St Paul's, etc. Right, a few more Harrods bears. Yes, some more Ethan bears there that you can hang up. If I remember rightly, they're about £25 each. And then, of course, you've got the Harrods different coloured 2023 baubles. Great for your tree this year, but you certainly wouldn't want it in 2024. So as you can see, we've hit the area which is all Ethan related. Yes, it's the Harrods bear on all sorts of decorations. So if you love the bear, but you don't want to get a big soft one, or alternatively, you just want to grab everything you possibly can, these are your bear related decorations. A few more London ones just thrown in here as well. If the London ones don't suit you, how about something a little bit more sophisticated? There you go, you've got a teapot and a teacup, you've even got a champagne glass, and you've also got a glass Christmas tree. I think if I remember when I picked them all up, they're sort of plastic related, which is probably why they're quite low. There you go, you've got different bears here as well, which is my first Christmas, so you've got blue for a boy and pink for a girl. Plus then you've got some China effect Harrods baubles as well. And what's interesting is the different sort of styling around the top and the bottom of them. So there it's quite plain. Here you've got leaf effect uh, that's on above the 2023 Harrods sign. And then on that one, you've got this plain one again. So you've got different types. Plus there was also some with birds on as well. And you've also got the Harrods doormen. Or should I say Harrods door people? Then if you want something London related and Harrods related to take back, you've got these here, um, the set of three bears and also the uh, three London landmarks I'll show you in a second are 30 pounds for a set of three, just to give you an idea there. And there you go, you've got some more hanging London decorations as well. So that was the Harrods 2023 Christmas department. If you had a chance of getting a little green bag like this, what would you buy? I'd love to know in the comments down below. Anyway, do let us know. Right, I'm going to leave you with another video from Harrods, but this is their phenomenal food department, which, as you'd expect at Harrods, is pretty special. So I'll put a link to that up in the right-hand corner. So click on that, and I'll see you in there.